Good morning, girls. What are y'all doing? Are you dust bathing? Or are you digging? Where did I put that? I think we ought to try cooking this. Why? There's recipes for this. Seriously? Yeah. That's really a thing? Yeah. There's Thai recipes for it, and there's also Mexican recipes for it. Uh, okay, we can give it a try. It's kind of weird, I've but... been saying I wanted to try it for the last couple years, but I've never done it yet, so... Okay. Sure, we just gotta let it drip. Do you have to, you, we can set it on the table. I say just set it on the patio table here. Looks like Laura found more glass and a pen. <laughs> yeah. This area was a, they dump stuff here. So that's a nice plump one. Okay. That's a pretty nice rack up there. Good. Yeah, there's another bloom over here, honey. I already got it, didn't I? Oh, you got that one there? Yeah. Off the little one? Okay. It's a small one. I don't know if it's worth... Well, you know, we had that other small rack, and we used it. Remember, we um, we just let them ripen. So just leave them on there as long as we can. I mean, I know... See, that's the one that... that uh, this, is, this was a tree that produced way too soon. It's not even at its full height. Yeah, this is a tiny one. It's really weird. Unless we want to do uh, banana fries with it. Oh, uh, we'll let it... Let it ripen up a little bit? <laughs> oh, it's stupid. You're so loud. Fun. Remember we tried doing banana fries with the ice cream bananas? Yeah. They weren't any good? We didn't like them? Oh, yeah. They did better with the cassava, didn't they? Well, it did better with the... Uh, the um, the, the Dwarf Cavendish. I'm sorry. Yeah, cassava. Listen to me. <laughs> Oh, it's a morning. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go start harvesting and getting the uh, other area ready. Yeah, we're going to check and see if we have any banana racks ready to harvest. Okay. All right, then meet me on the mound. All right, come on, big boy. All right, stupid. Our driveway is still soaking wet. You can tell by the ruts. Ruts everywhere. We got with the local tree company and uh, there hopefully we'll get some wood chips for our driveway this week. Try and mow the conchus grass. That's like saw grass here. Loquat's got a bunch of loquats on it, but we need to get to it. It's like a jungle in here. This is just bad. It's just really bad. Uh, we're try planting all this today or tomorrow, I should say. My moringa looks good. Oh, there's gone. It's like a jungle in here. Yes, it is. <clears throat> okay, I gotta kick this.
What looks close? But there is Braden is five foot four and <laughs> these weeds are just insane. They finally cut that tree down in the corner. Here, Brayden, stand back. Come over here near me. Make sure it doesn't fall on the fence, okay, honey? Come over here, Brayden. Yeah, the grass ain't so tall right here. Doing. He's got to cut down the tree. Why? Well, when it's a banana tree produces food and that food is ready to harvest, the tree comes down because a banana tree only blooms and produces food once in its life. Once it's done, it, it dies off. May not get it through there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, let it fall towards you, but be careful of the fence. It's all tangled up in those banana leaves up there. You <laughs> can't bite me. Huh? It's gonna be heavy, Braden. You're just gonna stand over here with it. That's a nice looking banana rack. Yeah. Ooh, some of it's fat. Hold it still. There you go. Those are fat. Yeah, a lot of those are fat, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, you like bananas? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of bananas are these? Those are the ice cream banana. That's what those are. They're the ones that have that vanilla taste to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These are good. Yeah, they are good. We'll let them hang and we'll wait till they turn yellow. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, and then we can eat them. They gotta turn yellow though first. Oh, these are a couple little ones in that too. It's okay. Little ones are fine. All right. So I, you just stand here and wait for Daddy. I'm gonna go and walk through the weeds. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it is up to my thighs. Oh, it's wet. Oh, oh my goodness. Bad. We gotta mow. Look, I got pretty little flowers that came up. So, what we're gonna do here is this back row. We decided we're gonna plant some of the um, pineapples in it. That way, um, we don't have to worry so much about trying to get behind there. The front row here. I'm going to, once we get this area mowed, um, we are going to uh, plant flowers. Even though it is September, I'm not gonna plant anything that's too crazy. Um, just because, you know, here in Florida, we don't really get um, winter until like almost December. So I still got a couple of months. Here, we're gonna go ahead and plant beets. Um, we're going to leave the herb gardens alone for the season. We're just going to clean them up. Um, and then over here, the peppers are doing great. 
Um, we just have to uh, harvest them and we're going to save the seeds for next year. Um, my, here, let me get out of the sun for y'all. My butterfly pea is doing really good still. I am going to let this keep growing and producing as long as I can. Um, the Asian yardline green beans are getting towards the end of their lifespan, but they're still producing. So today I'm going to harvest as much as I can. And um, we're just going to wait until it, they pretty much almost die out. It, they automatically start to die back on their own. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, get as much as, of a harvest we can out of them. The, pep, the uh, baby bells, a couple of plants are still doing really good. Some of them have died off for the season. Um, so we're just going to keep what we can. And then here I'm also going to put um, things. I may actually put the beets in these and put the carrots in that one. I haven't decided yet. We're still, uh, right now we're just going to prep everything uh, because tomorrow Donald goes on call and we want to just be able to do easy stuff. So that way um, if Donald has to leave all of a sudden, it's stuff that I can easily handle. Like um, today we have to go get two round hay barrels or hay bales. Get out, son, I can't see where I'm looking at. Oh, yo, okay. Whoa, hey, there you are. <laughs> um, but uh, we got to get some hay rings so we can lay them down in our um, in our pens. Our pens are really still mucky from all this water, and um, it's not drying up as fast as we would like it to be. So we are definitely going to be laying down more hay. Um, and then, like I said, tomorrow, Donald goes on call, so we want to do things that if he has to get up and go, he can get up and go and come back to it. Um, but Donald is going to try to um, till the entire front area. We're going to demolish it, get that under control. I'm going to try and mow the mound. Um, that way we can just have things back the way they were because the last several weeks we've had nothing but rain it's just been bad Yay. welcome to living in the south Teaching yeah. him how to mow. Watch out, Daddy, get started again. All right, <sighs> hot. But I got seed pots and some flowers. A lot of these green beans, not all of them are gonna be saved. I'm gonna mainly save them for seeds. And now I'm gonna go ahead and check out the peppers over there and then check out the plants over there. Almost done. Okay. Left some on the plant. And this guy's producing as well. And then down here, um, I picked these three. They were changing color on top. Plus Donald wants to try these. These are the hybrid Jedi want F1. All right, time to go to the next thing. Okay, I am going to try to harvest some more basil and sage. 
Donald and Brayden took a break from the mowing. Uh, it's getting hot out here. And then here is my buzz button. I'm going to clean it up because it's under a tree. And then my spearmint has really come in. I think I'm going to harvest some of that and see if I can turn it into some powder as well. So I'm going to run the dehydrator tonight. And I'm just going to take about half of that, a lot of this, and uh, get it all uh, processed tonight. Okay. Whew. It is hot out here. Got spearmint, basil, sage in here, and the buzz buttons. All right, now it's time to go inside. It's 11 o'clock. Let's get something to eat. And then I can start putting this stuff in the uh, dehydrator. All right. We were able to get two of these. And that is what's left of the first one. <laughs> We, we laid down the hay the last day and a half here. We still got to put some underneath the babies, honey. What's that? We got to put some hay underneath the babies. Yeah. We forgot to do that. But I'm going to show you guys oh, how great it came out. Big thank you to Farmer Cody for helping us out. But here's the turkey pen. No longer a muddy mess. Hi guys, we know it's feeding time. It's coming. Clyde has just been happy as a goat can be. He's no longer in the muck. Bonnie's not in the muck. We've cut the flies down. It was just been hot, Bonnie girl. Yeah. And then my crew, which is Stupid's crew, completely full. Donald's crew, the call ducks. Called Duck Crew. Called Duck Crew With and the, the naked neck and the yeah. Ducle. And the Ducle. <laughs> and then our two breast chickens pens completely covered. So we're gonna get everybody fed and take care of waterers. And uh, collect eggs, so we'll be back in a little bit. Hi, guys. <laughs>